Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have with me the Panasonic 9mm f1.7 lens. And I want to share my experience using this lens in this video. Let's do this! As usual, before we dive in, here are some important disclaimers. I have no affiliation or connection to Panasonic. I bought this lens with my own money and I've been using this lens for several weeks now. All the opinions that I'm sharing in this video, they're of my own and they're based on my user experience as a professional photographer, but they are non-technical and if you want those technical data analysis, this is not the place. I have plenty of photographs that I've shot with this lens and I'm sharing all these photographs and based on my experience using this lens, I'm sharing my thoughts on what I like and dislike about this lens. In a recent video that I did for my second YouTube channel, I've shared my reasons why I purchased this Panasonic 9mm f1.7 lens. I'll put the link to the video up here. Please check it out if you have not done so. I will not repeat what I've said in that video here. For summary, the two reasons why I got this lens is I need an ultra wide angle coverage for my photography jobs and I'm using this lens as my main vlogging lens for that second YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to that channel, please, please do so. I'm sharing my non-photography related content on that channel, the places that I go to, the people that I hang out with, the food that I eat, the places that I travel to, and maybe some thoughts, random thoughts that I have on my daily lives. All the sample images you'll see in this video were shot on my Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III using the Panasonic 9mm with very minimal post-processing on Capture One Pro. I am really excited about this lens because this is the first truly compact ultra wide angle prime lens with autofocus for micro four thirds. Previously, we have wider lenses such as the Olympus 714, Panasonic 714, Panasonic 8218, and Olympus 8225, just to name a few. But all these lenses are zoom lenses. They are definitely larger and heavier. And this Panasonic 9mm f1.7 is the first truly compact ultra wide angle prime with a super bright aperture of f1.7. I'm of course very curious to see what this lens can do. I really like the minimalist look of this lens. It is all black and the design is very sleek. It looks really professional, but this lens, the lens barrel itself is made of plastic. It doesn't feel as solid as those made from metal construction or high grade lenses from Olympus or Panasonic, but I am not complaining. Because of the plastic construction, it kept the weight of this lens down. It is only about 130 grams and that is really light. And I'm okay with the plastic construction because I'm not going to go around and question whether safety helmets that's made from plastic, whether it is as durable, as strong as the one made from metal. I will not ask people to wear a safety helmet that's made from metal. It is just not logical. Anyways, back to the lens. It also feels really good used on any Olympus cameras that I have. It balances well with my EM1 cameras. So because the lens is so small and so light, it also balances really well with my light lighter bodies like the Olympus EM5 Mark III, which I'll be using as my main vlogging camera setup. The lens only has one control on it, which is the manual focusing. And this is something that I probably will never use because, hey, the reason I got this lens was because of the autofocus capabilities. Oh, and one more thing. I really like that this lens is weather sealed. It means that when I'm shooting in the rain, it does rain a lot here in the tropical Malaysian weather, I can pair it with my OMD cameras, which are also weather sealed, and I can shoot with no worries whatsoever. The 
Panasonic 9mm f1.7 is capable of delivering very sharp images. The lens is already super sharp at wide open f1.7. Of course, when I stop down to f2.8 at f4, I get a little bit of increase in sharpness, but I will not hesitate to shoot wide open at f1.7. The lens can resolve plenty of fine details, very good contrast, and the images come out looking very lively. When looking at the corners, yes, the extreme corners can be quite soft when shooting wide open at f1.7, but this should not be an issue if you stop down to f2.8 or f4. The corners are really sharp. You can achieve uniform sharpness from edge to edge and corner to corner. All you have to do is just to avoid f1.7 if corner sharpness is very important to you. Overall, in terms of sharpness, I don't think the sharpness is at the same level as, say, the Olympus 8 to 25 Pro or the Olympus 7 to 14 Pro lenses, but it is still very, very sharp and I have no issue using it. I'm very happy with the results that I get from this lens. When it comes to distortion, the Panasonic 9mm handles it really well. The straight lines appear perfectly straight, and I think this is thanks to the software correction. The manufacturer's data is carried by the lens, it's embedded in the raw images that shot in the camera, and any modern post-processing software will be able to extract this correction data and apply auto-correction to correct any distortion on the images. To me, it doesn't really matter. As long as I get perfectly straight lines, I am happy. When it comes to flare control, this lens does control flare really well. Of course, shooting against very strong source of light, there'll be some flare, some haze, and some ghosting that is to be expected from any ultra-wide angle lenses. But to me, that's not what worries me. What troubles me is that this lens has a tendency to produce some purple blobs or purple haze and some purple blotches on the images. And these purple blotches are very difficult to correct in post-processing. When stopping down the aperture to f11 or all the way to f16, this Panasonic 9mm is capable of producing beautiful looking starburst effect. If you're looking to make some stars or starburst in your photography, this lens can do some really beautiful starburst for you. The bokeh of this 9mm lens is looking really beautiful. It is smooth, creamy, non-distracting, it doesn't look nervous, and the bokeh balls appear perfectly round if you shoot at wide open f1.7. Of course, if you stop down to say f2.0, f4, then you get that hexagon looking bokeh, but that doesn't really matter. It still looks really, really pleasant. The autofocus on this Panasonic 9mm f1.7 is super fast. I use it on my Olympus E1 Mark III, and the autofocus is as fast as any modern micro four thirds lenses from Panasonic or Olympus. I have no issue using this lens for critical moments or for my professional jobs. This lens can also go very close to the subject doing some wide angle macro photography, although I wouldn't really recommend an ultra wide angle for macro shots. But if you need to go super close, close to the subject and still capture a significant portion of the background in your shot for that dramatic close-up with ultra-wide angle look, hey, this 9mm lens can do that for you. And the close-up performance, shooting at such close distance, you can still render really sharp images. The only one complaint I have on this Panasonic 9mm lens is chromatic aberration. The purple fringing can be quite a severe problem. I understand that for an ultra wide angle lens, shooting at wide open f1.7, especially against ultra contrasty area, we do get some purple fringing, that is to be expected. But I also expect that if I stop down to f2.8, f4, f5.6, I can almost eliminate any traces of purple fringing. And that's not the case with this lens. Even at f4 and f5.6, I can still see a significant amount of purple fringing traces on my images, and that can be a problem. I also acknowledge that with modern post-processing software, we can easily correct this manually. But imagine if I'm shooting hundreds or thousands of photographs in high contrast situations, and I need to manually correct these images one by one, that can be a problem 
problem. Well, I'm using this Panasonic 9mm on my Olympus E1 Mark III. I don't have the latest Panasonic body for me to test this lens on. If you have the Panasonic 9mm lens, and if you have, say, Panasonic GH5 or GH6, please do test and let me know if you encounter similar purple fringing problem. Overall, I'm very happy with what this Panasonic 9mm f1.7 lens can do. It provides an ultra-wide angle coverage in such a small, compact and lightweight form factor. And the bright aperture f1.7 means I can use lower ISO numbers when I'm shooting in low light situations, which is definitely an advantage when I'm shooting with micro four thirds system. The lens is super sharp. It's already very sharp wide open at f1.7. And generally the technical flow control is also very good. The autofocus is very fast. You can go super close to your subject. The bokeh looks really beautiful. The only two problems that I have with this lens is when you're shooting against a very bright source of light you get this purple haze, purple blotch issue and of course the purple fringing can be quite severe with this lens. That's all I have to share about this Panasonic 9mm f1.7 lens. Do you own one yourself? Please share your thoughts and experience using this lens in the comments below. I'm sure it will benefit some other people as well. If you have found my sharing beneficial or if you like looking at my sample photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal links in this description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making more videos and publish them right here. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.